When you print in Internet Explorer, then by default it's going to print a header and a footer on the website that you printed out. So let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. And go to File, Print Preview, and you can see up at the top we have the title of the website and then we have the current page out of the total number of pages over on the right side. Down here we have the URL and then on the right side at the bottom we have the current date. So I'm going to go ahead and exit print preview and we are going to modify these codes. I'm going to go to file and page setup and the header and footer section these are our codes that are displaying what we see. So first of all is you can see that there's lots of ampersands here which basically um, tell Internet Explorer that this is a code that I'm entering instead of text. So you can see right here we have and W. The W stands for window title which is just the page title. And B means that everything that follows this character is going to be right aligned. Um, right justified aligned actually. And then so you can see over on the right side we have the word page and then we have and P which means the current page number of and P with the capital P which means the total number of pages. Down here at the bottom we have and U which is our URL. We have another and B which means that it's going to be right justified and then and D which is the um, current date in a short format. So we can go ahead and we can change this however we like. So I'm going to go ahead and modify these and show you some other codes that this isn't currently using. Um, now first of all down here at the bottom on the footer let's say we want to keep the page URL. I'm going to keep and you and then and B I'm going to actually change that and I'm going to add a second and B which means that I'm going to have whatever I put in the middle here is going to be centered. So right here I'm going to actually put the date and I'm going to do a capital D which means it's going to show it in long format. So it's going to say the day, the month spelled out, um, the day, and then the year along with the day of the week. So I have the URL and then centered I have the date and then over to the right I'm going to actually change this to the time and I'm going to use a capital T and that's going to show me the time in a 24 hour format. A small d t would show you the time um, in the just the 12 hour format. So those are really all the new codes. Um, so up at the top I'm going to go ahead and change this. I'm going to leave the page title and then I'm going to actually add where I can center. You can add more information or you know you could take some of these off and add less information. So in between here centered I'm going to actually you actually I'm just going to add some text. I'm going to say print out. Okay and then I'm going to go ahead and keep my total page number. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK and then let's go to print preview okay and look at the top and you could see here the title was so long I have an ellipsis here which means that there's more to the title my text showed up in the center I still have my page number over to the right now down at the bottom we have the URL and then centered we have our long date format and then to the right we have our time in 24 hours so that's how you can modify your header and footer codes in Internet Explorer